today. I think we're going for engineer. Turrets, we can do this. I just played as the one, the soldier. Soldier was huge damage, but no defense for the elite waves. I mean, I had a ton of defense, but not enough. This character is interesting because turrets are kind of bad, but wrenches do a little bit of damage. I think I really want harvesting here. Or engineering. I'll take engineering. I feel like engineering makes it more likely. I actually want baby elephant. That I'll see turrets in the shop, but I don't know if that's true. I just feel that way. Like, I know I'll see wrenches, but I want to see turrets. Some runs, I definitely don't see turrets. But I feel like engineering runs, I do... Er, gun runs, I do see turrets a good amount, so maybe it's not true. It might just be dumb luck. Harvesting's good. I think Sharp Bullet is very good on this character. So are wrenches. If these were support, I might take this, but they're not. It is three harvesting. Hmm. I already have five wrenches. Just leave it. I can move around. I'm not the soldier. I don't need to move around, but I could. Elemental would be good with this character. I think it works with the tier 2 turrets. And there's an item that makes elemental turn into engineering. It's a rare item, but if I saw it, it would be really good. I think elemental kind of works with this character. Maybe. Luck also kind of works. Max HP kind of also works. So does engineering. Yeah, it's a lot of good stuff. I will take it all. I would probably take a Ghost Scepter with this character. I would take a Ghost Scepter with like every character. The real question is, if they offer me a Ghost Shiv or a Ghost Axe, would I take one of those just to increase the chance of seeing a Ghost Scepter? Maybe. I think getting max HP is very important on basically all characters, as I give up one max HP for elemental, which does nothing for me. Yeah. Take some luck. I have 22 engineering. What does this character do? Plus 10 engineering. Engineering modifications are increased. Damage modifications are reduced. Oh, so maybe I wouldn't take... No, I would still probably take... I don't know if I would take Scepter or not. We'll see if they offer it to me. We'll take luck. have piercing damage, so I feel like my damage is pretty decent. Defense is the next thing to think about a little bit. Also, like, no, nah, wave 7, I can run around and pop things myself. It would help, though, if I had, like, more regen. Any regen. Okay. I could take speed. Could take armor. 
I think we just keep going with engineering. Tier 2 turret. Do I take coffee? No. Yeah, I think it's just all about these wrenches. So I'm going to have a bunch of elemental turrets, which is nice. That does a lot for crowd control. I feel like I have to stutter from playing with the soldier. But I don't. Obviously, I want trees spawn turrets very badly. More than basically any character except maybe Explorer. Explorer might want them even more. But my turrets do a lot of damage. And they have piercing. Hmm, six percent dodge. That was a good shop. Okay, wave twelve is an elite. Fourteen is a horde. A little bit of movement speed probably would be good so that I can kite things around the turrets quickly. But just having turrets that kill them. Oh, I have eggs. Okay, we should kill those pretty quick. Turrets, kill those pretty quick. I don't have much HP. I went from feeling very good to feeling very bad very quick. was a very good run until I hit wave 7 without realizing it. I think I could have easily beat that. Well, I know I could have, but like me within my abilities if I just realized what wave it was. Take harvesting. What about an SMG? SMG does a lot of damage. I don't think so. These two are interesting. Don't think I want the luck down, but that is a good amount of regen. Speed for range down isn't bad. I'm going to take that. I think speed is a stat that matters a lot on this character. Get used to kiting enemies again. Max HP is only 10. Get a little bit of luck. Ghost Scepter 3. Yes. Yes, now I suddenly do care about coffee. Huh. Funny how that works. The game has changed. 10 max HP. 11, but that was because of a level up. I do want to gain a stat. It only takes 18 kills. Twelve max HP. We've done it. Pick up some of these materials. Range up is okay. Harvesting attack speed. Let's go harvesting. Two armor. Take two armor. Knockback is pretty good. Full shop. Look at that. 13 max HP. You love to see it. Keep shooting those one one shot enemies, but my wrenches are stealing kills. It's okay, as long as I get one stat up. 
I want to be at 15 HP by the end of this. I feel like it's not gonna happen. Oh no, I am at 15 HP. Max HP lifesteal. Could be none of these, but we'll take max HP. You did gain a stat up. I do like Ugly Tooth quite a bit. Speed for luck is rough. Landmines and Engineering and a Wrench are all good. Wave 11 has an Elite, 14 a Horde. Okay, 7 destroyed me, but this time I feel a lot better. For one, I have 21 max HP, soon to be 23. Three max HP. At some point, I probably do get rid of the scepter because my damage will not be going up enough to get kills. But that's a long ways off. 24. Um, luck. I do like luck a lot. I think engineering's pretty good. Dodge. Take harvesting. Ah, there was more engineering there. Rocket launcher three. It's interesting. That would get a lot of kills. Elemental damage for 2% dodge when I don't have any dodge. Med turret is very good, so is bag. There is an SMG here. Power generator. I don't know if I care about that. I don't think I do. Not on this character. Um, Ghost Scepter, Baby Gecko. I'd like to leave this wave with 26 HP, and then I'm happy. One from the level, one from the scepter. If this was a character where my damage increased, then I would want to be gaining two stats, but it is not. Those trees are tough. Life steal HP regen. Um, I think it's max HP. Okay, that that's early. That's really early. I think I have to take it. Block is more important, but I do want this. Three stats gained. Not a lot of stats. Right. Eggs. And I'm not very strong. <laughs> These trees are hard for me to kill. The eggs seem a little bit weaker than trees, though. Eggs are interesting. Kind of a cool level. Wait! Do I cancel their spawns if I'm standing on a red X? It feels like I did. If you're like directly on top of it. If you're just in front of it, no. One second. Should have went and picked up more materials. Elemental. I'm gonna take this.
9% dodge. That worth more than 9 max HP. Think so? Four stats gained. SMG. My range is so bad. Um, definitely the wrench. Baby Gecko. No. My damage is going up a little bit each round now. Should probably avoid taking damage. No reason to take damage. These should be easy to dodge. And the enemies are not building up. That's the main thing. If they're building up, then it becomes very hard to dodge damage. Okay, that was stupid, but that's because there was a tree there, and I like trees. Yeah, I don't have much healing. I do have a healing turret. Yes. I don't think it does anything really, but the range down doesn't really do much either. Luck is good. Armor is good. So is elemental. Incendiary turret. Ranged and elemental. This would get my range to be a plus one. Do you also reduce? You do reduce elemental. Or maybe this is just talking about percentage damage. No, because if it was, then my range damage would be one right now. The 3% speed, I don't think I do that. Turrets are amazing. So is engineering. Good stuff. Wave nine. Normally, this would be when I want to feed my staff a bunch, but there's only so much the staff can do. It's trying. I have a ring that gives it three per- okay. I just need to avoid taking damage. It gains 3% damage per wave. I need way more defense. Med turret is good. There was a lot of food there that I just picked up for no reason. Thirty-eight max HP. I would give up one max HP for burning spreads. Um, speed, yes. Lots of luck. Lots of luck. What about lifesteal? Ooh. Dodge is very good. Reroll is pretty good. I have a lot of money. You've gained me six stats. I think soon, unless I get up to Ghost Scepter 3, soon I do think about selling this. But it's also good to just tear these up. 8 HP regen, 8 engineering, speed is capped, 80 range. HP regen and engineering are both big. I think I just take this. Coffee's weird. Do I already have a coffee? I do. Coffee is kind of interesting. I think it's worth taking. It works on the wrenches. The wrenches can protect me. 
if they can attack quick enough. But it's mostly the turrets. Right, I got the Lumberjack shirt, I think. Landmines should do decent damage. Coming out away from my turrets was questionable. Wave 10. I have to look at when elites are coming. My defense needs to be a lot higher. range on a character that it doesn't really do much for. This is my level 14. Dodge is at 22. Armor's at 7. HP is not very high. This helps a bit. Do I already have one? I do. 6 knockback is better than 3. Plus it's pretty cheap. Pocket Factory. Wave 11 is an elite. There's also a crown here. I don't have much harvesting. There is a crown here. Does crown pay for itself? I feel like it probably does. Ah, but it's very expensive. No. Okay, I should dodge that. Movement speed would be very nice. Part of the problem is that enemies in this wave are pretty tanky, even without an elite. They move slow at first. Okay, I can't just run away from that. Bad things are happening. Are they in the circle, I think? If I was faster. I don't think it helps that my wrenches weren't very high. Maybe this was stupid. 7 max HP. I actually think that was stupid. Okay. Good talk. Especially because it started out as a tier 2, so that's pretty good. Short of it being a tier 3, and I had, like, I had things going for it. I think having an extra turret would have been better and would have increased the chances of me seeing more turrets. Elemental damage down hurts a bit. Actually, I'm not gonna get that. Lucky Tooth I will get. Fertilizer I'll get. Okay. I like this first shop. The Ethereal Staff was stupid, I think. It was significant max HP, but there are other ways to get max HP. Maybe I just need to prioritize those more. Because it made me start taking things like coffee, which... Eh, coffee's okay. Doesn't really keep me alive. Harvesting early, I still think, pays for itself pretty quickly. I needed that wrench. Ugly tooth was stupid. Okay. We're gonna get the wrenches, but really I need to get them in that first shop. I could have re-rolled the shop if I bought the wrench. I could have five wrenches right now, basically. Instead I took ugly tooth, which could have been saved in the shop. These first upgrades, I want economy pretty bad. Engineering could happen. Engineering's right there. Three regen. OK, 
Okay, this time, taking that. Scared Sausage is good. That makes Elemental more valuable. Except it's hard for me to get Elemental up. This one's good. Okay, good stuff. Could have rerolled for five. I already have things to buy though. Knockback is kind of weird. Max HP. Is it too early to take that? This is guaranteed to be a blue. I'm going to say yes. Engineering. 6% dodge is really good. You get plus 2 from a white engineering upgrade. You only get plus 3 dodge. I think I like the dodge upgrade a lot. Look for an engineering here, maybe. Harvesting's good. Got 5 wrenches. Snake is good. Try and do some burning stuff. If I can get my dodge maxed, that would help. Dodge maxed with decent armor and max HP. The dream. Hmm, 6% speed. Four engineering. Okay. Baby Gecko. Good shop. Could go straight for a laser turret. But I have some fire synergies, so way better just to get a bunch of fire turrets, I think. I don't know if it really helps having, like, multiple fire turrets, but I'm going to assume it does. Like, do they end up applying the same burn to units that already have burn? Maybe. Checking for trees. Okay, next wave is the eggs. Twenty-five percent XP gain. I give up a bunch of luck. It does have melee damage, which I could kind of use. Re-engineering six max HP. So this is another where this one's only increased by fifty percent by being blue. This one's increased by one hundred percent. I think I take the heart. Metal detector seems really good here. Okay, pop eggs. Can light them on fire. 25% chance. Also, I just have a lot of wrenches. Ah, I wasn't there in time. I did light that thing on fire at least. Fire doesn't do much, but a little bit. Died to the turrets. 
Another egg hatched. I'm guessing I do get more materials for killing the hatched ones. Crap. Saw that one hatch. Seven seconds. Let's just stay alive. There was food over to the right. Two armor, 6% dodge. Two armor reduces damage by 12%. Elemental damage gets reduced by 50%. Could I have done better than max HP there if it was a guaranteed purple? 9% dodge. Mm, probably would have been better. Probably. Explosion damage. Ultimately, I do want to get to the tier 4 wrenches, so I'm going to take that. I think we'll get there. I hope. I don't know if I have a lot of engineering points, but my turrets are killing things. Engineering is okay. I already have 30 range damage. 6% dodge. Tyler. Tyler's pretty good. So I'm all blue turrets. I think I care more about getting the luck early than getting Tyler early. What wave is this? This is wave 9. Tyler would be good on wave 9, but so are elemental turrets. Really want trees spawn turrets. Tier 1 turrets do a lot of damage for this character. And I just don't have safety outside of my cluster of turrets. Where I would have a little bit more safety if I got trees spawn turrets. Like when I leave home. Engineering is good. Engineering is good. So, 38 engineering. That feels really good. Two armor. Feels good. Nine max HP. Feels good. 3% dodge by itself is pretty good. Um, buy like all of this. Fairy. Fairy is amazing. Fairy is so good. Fairy makes me want like. This one becomes not too bad. <laughs> Lots of things become not too bad. I don't really need them. Tentacle. Right. I remember this. Plus 3% crit chance. Plus 20% chance to heal 1 HP when killing an enemy with critical hit. Fog is definitely a take. I don't have crit. I don't do my own damage. Piercing damage is interesting. Because there are items that I want. I'm not going to save that one. Right now, I don't have piercing. If I got piercing, I would really want that for my turrets. If 
But first I have to find piercing. Wave 10. Okay. You have to dodge a little bit. Dodge skill is kind of good, kind of bad. It's bad because I don't realize it when I'm moving poorly when I have a lot of dodge. Like, I don't feel like I'm improving with my learning to avoid enemy hits if I have dodge on. HP regen. God, I feel like 4 engineering does more. Okay. Baby with a beard. Statue. Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet is one of my only chances to kill elites, I think. These don't really do much for me. They're ones that I really want on a different character. Kind of a tough call. But elemental damage is very good. Um, HP from consumables does give an extra regen because I have this fairy thing. 15 regen. I think that's acceptable. Kind of weird that they don't have an indicator for if you already have an item. Because there is a character that has that implemented. What character was it? There's one that starts with like minus 400% damage. But it's like a weird character where that's really equal to minus 100% because damage modifiers are reduced by 80%. Yeah. Fun stuff. Main thing, they do have a way implemented in the game to tell you if you already have a tier 1 item. So they could just like turn that checkbox on for this other item. Okay, that tree was stupid. Still want it. Got it. This tree is closer to home. I left a lot of materials on the ground. You're good. So like this one, two max HP and one regen, I'm pretty sure. I went from 15 to 16, yeah. Three armor, three armor is very good. Is it better than nine dodge? I don't know. Really that two elemental damage was only worth one. This one's a tough call. Armor's better. I don't think I lock it. Vigilante ring. I think you're better. You're better. I don't think it's worth it. It costs too much. I don't care about my damage that much. I care about it a little, but I care about my defense a lot. My engineering. My turrets I care about. I see a tree. Kind of hard to get to. And I don't do enough damage. We did get it, and it had an item. Worth it. I see another tree. Very questionable. It also had an item. See another tree? Very questionable. Did not get it, but I could go back. I already have three items. What if I could get four? 
I do think if I'm stepping on X's, I can cancel X's. But I have to be, like, actually on top of them. That is pretty huge. Can't take this right now. I think that's a decent exchange for some characters. Six max HP. Do I care about this? A little bit. It's expensive. What does baby elephant do? When I pick up materials, it does damage. So yeah, this one is a one HP regen. Or minus crit chance, which I don't have any crit chance, plus melee damage. It's actually worth getting, I think. For 60, I'll take it. Right, my regen went down when I took this one. And it cost me a lot of money, so tier 4 items are kind of interesting. They're probably still worth it in most cases. I think this one is very worth it, even though my speed is low. Okay, wave 13. 14 has an elite. Getting to level 20 by the end of, like, next wave would be massive. Because I know wave 20 has a big reward. Like, 9% dodge. Guaranteed. I mean, it's guaranteed to be at least a purple. I don't think 20 is guaranteed to be a red. I don't know how luck affects that. Defense is feeling pretty good. Um, just have to take the max HP. So like this one is just a regen item, which is pretty nice. Regen and range, which I don't care about. I already have this one. HP down from consumables is rough. Consumables already only heal two. Them healing one would be brutal. Armor up, max HP. I don't care about the crit chance. I guess I lock this. It's expensive. Don't let that get right next to me. I could light the tree on fire. Just break the tree. Starting to understand the way that the elite things work better. Okay. That is annoying. It can't do that right next to the edge of the map like this. That's cheating. I can kind of guide? No. I think it's... How is it doing that? It's just whatever direction... Okay, I'm kind of getting it. It just casts it at me, around me, but away from itself. That makes sense. We will take this. Level 18. Three engineering. So the engineering is good, but it falls off. I almost killed that thing. Like dodge and armor are worth so much more to me. 9% dodge is insanely good. Turret's good. I already have this one. A wrench three, yes. 
second snake eye surgery the only problem is i am going to be moving away from these but i do have scared sausage my elemental damage eh it's three it's something armor while standing still Don't think I stand still a lot. That is a good amount of armor, though. The problem with those items is, in particular, when I see an enemy running at me, I want to move. I can stand still when there's no enemy about to hit me. Kind of the same with that dodge one. Unless you're a character that really just can stand still. Maybe this one could. He does want to hang out by the turrets a lot. Wonder how much damage Tyler's doing. Tyler's pretty good. Break that tree. Thank you. My defense is high enough that I can venture out quite a bit. Engineering 4. It's very good. Don't know if I need it. It's actually equal to like engineering 6. I'm gonna take it, but maybe that's stupid. Okay, so yeah. Getting my regen up by a little bit and giving up 36 starting HP for that. That's a tough call. And I pay a lot. I think I'm going to combine those up into an explosive tower. Oh, right. I thought it was saying that their range is reduced. But that's saying my wrench is range. Piercing bullets, explosive bullets. Do I ever reroll? No. Wave 16. I don't think of this wave or any of the others really as tough, except for the elite. I think those bubbly ones are enraging the other enemies. I don't know what that means, but they're getting red outlines. So much engineering. Please give me pop pocket factory. It's not even that rare. It's just a blue. Did not get this. Except then I'll be even more tempted to go make stupid decisions for trees, but it would be worth it. It would be so worth it. It would be amazing. My engineering stat is so high. Yes. I think this is good for all of them except for the laser turret. So now I would take that pumpkin thing. So this is my level 20. Gotta be the dodge. Armor is good, but dodge is better. Wisdom. Wisdom's weird on this character. Don't think it's worth paying for. One HP regen for minus one max HP. Could be worth it. And it gives a melee damage. It costs 61. I'm assuming I don't already have that. I'm gonna take it. Scared Sausage is amazing. Alien Eyes is pretty good. Strange Book is amazing. Cyberball is amazing. Another Tyler's amazing. Peaceful B is good. Maybe even amazing. It's amazing if I get it early. Right now it's mostly about the dodge. Okay, wave 17. Next wave is an elite. Feeling very strong right now. 
not strong against trees so much, which kind of sucks. But I don't need to pop trees, I just want to. It would be cool if you could get up the turret range. Probably kind of OP, but for a character like this that specializes in turrets, I do feel like some of your stats should be able to apply like 25% of them to turrets. Something. I was gonna say I don't know what this character's item or character unlocks when you finish it, but this might have been Pocket Factory. Because I have one as this character. Um, get rid of that. I have three scared sausage. Plus five. This one's good. This one's good. Everything's good. Tyler, you're gonna have to wait. We have 18. I should look at the damage that Tyler's done. That one rams at me, and I think it shoots out, like, random projectiles. Not random. Okay, I do not do enough damage. So I can control its movement quite a bit, which is nice. I have two items on the ground. I just ran into a projectile. Just ran into another projectile. My dodge is high enough, but better not to hit those projectiles. That thing is taking damage. It really is. Wisdom wouldn't affect my turrets. I was trying to think, like, should I have taken wisdom? We have four seconds. Wait, it's almost dead. It was like one second away. More trees. For 15, I guess I take you. Five HP regen. It's a lot of regen. Two armor. Gimme Tyler. Another wisdom. Another Tyler. We're just going full Tyler. Thirty-seven regen. One every point two nine seconds. Three point four per second. Elemental's good. Okay, wave nineteen. Second to last wave. I am a little bit worried about the boss fight. I think as long as they don't kill me, they probably will die by the end of the timer. But me living is questionable. Can I see the damage that Tyler's do? I was still playing sounds for a second. No. You have done some damage. I have two chameleons? Oh. When I stand still, still, my dodge goes up by quite a bit. By 40%. That's significant. Piercing damage minus 10%. I have a lot of attack speed. My attack speed goes up, so lifesteal would actually be important. When I stand still, my attack speed goes up. By a lot. Oh. Okay, maybe I should be standing still. I do want to go out and get that tree, but eh, probably can. So life steal. I think that would actually help. Just like 1%. I think that's a priority for me. More than I would have expected. No?
armor. Two armor. 40%. 44%. That's a lot of melee damage. Okay. Also, HP regen, which I do value. I did not get my lifesteal. This would have been kind of nice. This would be nice. This would be nice. My wrenches are going to do a little bit of damage. Which sounds stupid, but my attack speed goes crazy when I stand still. Those bosses do hit hard, though. But my dodge goes up. Like, I think it's worth it to manually dodge, but I'm not sure. I'm standing still a little bit just to get my attack speed up. If I had lifesteal. Okay. A lot of my damage is my turrets, most of it. Consumables do not heal me for much. The bosses are hurting. God, I wish I had lifesteal. Just kill them. Kill that one. Okay, my health is very low. And we win. That was so sketchy. Okay, that felt like one of the more sketchy, like, final boss fights for sure. Engineer, we've done it. I don't even know if I got an unlock. I feel like I've already beat this character, so I wouldn't have. Same with Ranger. Yeah, I could go and try and get wins on, like, no difficulty. That would also be... Like, this one's an easy... 3,000 materials should be easy. 10 or more living trees? I feel like that's gonna happen with Explorer eventually. Alright, for now, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.